Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at uh, tie rods. Um, what to look for, we're going to focus primarily on the outer tie rods. I'll show you what the inner tie rods look like, um, but this is really more focused on the outer tie rods. Uh, I'm just going to show you what to look for, um, if there, where there could be any damage, uh, just, just some basic simple checks, things like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, let me know you guys like what I'm doing, and then let's get right to it. If you have the stock wheels, um, some of them that are kind of more fully formed in the front, this may be harder to do. Some of them, the Grand Prix wheels have a, a kind of an open spoke design, a little bit easier to see. Luckily with mine, I have my aftermarket so I can show you. But the idea is to have someone in the car who's going to move the wheels left and right. And you're going to be looking at the tie rods to see if there's any play, any movement vertically. Um, so it's going to move side to side horizontally, but you want to see if it's lifting up and down. So what we're doing is as we turn the wheel, we're going to be visually inspecting the tie rod. And you're going to be looking to see if it lifts as it turns. You can see there. Now as you can see, it's kind of moving. It's going to move this way as we turn. Um, and it's also going to be kind of moving again vertically because we're turning the wheels. But as you can see, there's no upward lift on the tie rods. So the tie rods themselves look good. For the next series of tests, we're actually going to be looking underneath the car. We have to jack up the car and remove the wheels. Uh, we got to check both sides because just because there's wear on one side doesn't mean there's wear on the other. Um, but before we go ahead, I just want to stress, make sure safety first, you guys are jacking the car up properly. Um, in this case here, you can see I have two jack stands and my jack all supporting the car. Um, I've also put a wood down. If you have an um, asphalt driveway or anything, having all the weight on the car, um, most of the weight right now is on the jack stands, uh, will cause it to sink in. So this, of course, is just the measure I take to help uh, balance that out. So um, that's what I recommend. Make sure safety first, you guys are jacking the car properly. Now, after you've checked uh, the, the driving check with the tie rods, in regards to having someone turning the wheel and so on, um, you're gonna be checking the actual tie rod itself for any damage, any wear, anything like that. Now we're focusing, now this is up in there, that's the inner tie rod. We're focusing today on the outer. And uh, this here, what you're looking for is around the top. Now, if you have the factory ones, you're not going to have this little uh, um, grease nipple on the top here. The factory ones come sealed, but they do wear out over time. And when they do, um, then the fluid starts leaking out through the bottom. If you have aftermarket ones, likely they have a seal. There's a lot of gunk around here, but there's a, a, a nipple right there, as you can see. And uh, that's where you grease it from. So you want to check and make sure there's no leaks around there. You're also doing the same down here. You're checking for any leaks. Clean it up. Get a rag. Um, just wipe it down and everything and make sure there's no leaks um, or issues or anything like that with it. And uh, it's still attached. It's still fixed on. No problems and everything. Now I've changed these. I did these uh, last year if I recall. So, um, you know, these are still in good condition. No problem. But using these as an example, the next thing you want to do is you want to check for play as well. So now that you've checked for no leaks, you're just gonna grab your tie rod and you're gonna shake. Now, of course, making sure the car is jacked and secured properly, that you're just checking this. And you're gonna do that first by lifting up and down and then twisting side to side. You're doing this to check if this is moving. If, there, if this has become loose and there's play, it's gonna move around and uh, sway side to side. That should not happen, it should be nice and firm. So uh, if, if you're checking and everything is good and firm and tight, and your tie rods should be good. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope this video has been very helpful for you and checking some of your suspension components. Um, before I close off, I just want to again exercise to be cautious and be careful when you're dropping your car. Make sure you've cleared all tools from in the area. Make sure it's all looking all clear. Wheels are on and secured. Um, you've also jacked up the car, removed the jack stands and anything, for example, if, uh, for example, the wood I have here. And then you'll drop the car down and then torque your wheels to specification. Make sure uh, you do that and be safe when you're checking your car. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.